What's going on everyone? In this video, we're gonna look at the Git or version control related questions that you're likely to get in a DevOps interview. So Git is related to programming, software development, um, and even like configuration work. It's kind of related to everything you'll be doing as a DevOps person. When I say Git, I mean whatever version control system uh, this company is using. I'm just gonna use Git here. It could be you know Mercurial, it could be Subversion or CVS, it could be Perforce, it could be whatever. Git is the most popular at new, fancy, exciting, hyped up like DevOpsy companies. So that's just what you're very likely to run into. If, you're, if you've been developing software um, or really doing anything cooper that, that results in text files getting written and having to cooperate with other people to do that, uh, you're really hurting yourself if you're not using a version control tool. As always, I start off with, have you used a version control tool before, like Git? And uh, if they say, you know, yes, I proceed. If not, that's also good data and we can dig into that. There, there are some legitimate reasons to not have seen it before, like you're super new or you've never worked on projects with other people or whatever. I mean, it's easy enough to learn. So, you know, this isn't something that I care about, like really quizzing somebody deeply on most of the time because there's so many more important things to handle during an interview that these are really just an opportunity for me to get a red flag on someone that uh, has a weird gap in their knowledge and to talk about that. That's not a disqualifying event, but uh, it's definitely interesting. So. The first technical question I ask is, can you just take me through kind of a day in the life of your Git workflow? You know, um, walk me through it. And that lets them kind of fill in the blanks. So what I'm expecting to hear from a candidate in an interview would be, you know, I uh, check out the latest version of the code with, and I would say, well, how do you do that? And they would say, uh, you know, I would use a Git pull to pull down any changes that have happened since I last worked on the code base and start working on the code. And then I would ask, oh, cool, do you work, which branch do you work on? And maybe they work on master and you know, then cut a branch or they commit directly to master. An answer what I would, I would expect and like to hear is, oh, well, I, I pull changes for master before I start working on my feature. Then I cut a branch for my feature. And then I say, how do you do that? And then I would expect something, some version or a pro something approximating, oh, I would do a git checkout dash B new branch name. And then I'm on that branch, I do my work, I do my commits. And then I would say, cool, what then? Um, well, then they might say, oh, I rebase on master and merge locally. If you don't know what that is, uh, look it up. Or um, a much more common answer uh, would be, oh, you know, like I use whatever third party like VCS, like management tool, like GitHub or Bitbucket or GitLab. And I make some kind of pull request and then get it kind of merged back into the code base. Uh, I'm not gonna really detail the tools in depth here because that's just something better experimented with on your own, um, but that's the kind of answer I'm looking for. If they seem super comfortable and they're like an expert and I wanna give them like a layup, I might be like, have you ever heard of Gitflow? For you, if you haven't heard of Gitflow, Google Gitflow. It's a way of managing changes in a larger team for a larger software product uh, in a way that doesn't drive everybody crazy. It's just a way of having multiple branches that you're kind of merging features into, merging hotfixes into. It's a way for you to manage a stable production branch without just having there be uh, kind of the chaos that happens as a company grows and you only have master as your, like what everyone is kind of using as a source of truth. Um, so there you go, extra credit, look up Gitflow. And you know, if they're not like expert Git users or whatever, I still I still do try to cover the basics. So I I you know I want to know that they know the basic features and commands. So like, how would you check? Like you know that Michelle checked in something last night. Um, how do you see what she checked in? Like what changes she made? And I would expect to hear like I would do a Git pull or if they've done that already, I don't care. Uh, and then I would do a Git log to look at the change log to see what changes were made. And then I would say, cool, like how would you see which specific, uh, what she, the details of what she actually changed? And then they would say, you know, I would expect to hear from you. Uh, I would do a git show on that commit hash and that would show me the changes. And I would say, fantastic, let's move on to security, networking, or one of a million other things that are just a much bigger deal than knowing the ins and outs of git. So, 
please feel free to leave any any clever or good open-ended or or kind of like trivia do you know the answer to this uh, questions in the comments below um, I like leaving this kind of open-ended and just letting them walk me through just a, a very simple workflow I don't subtract a huge number of points if they like don't remember a command although I do worry slightly about how much experience they have if they can't remember git log git show uh, git pull git push uh, you know what an upstream is that kind of stuff like the very basics and you can really learn those in about an hour of just sitting down and working with git so uh, that's kind of what it looks like please feel free to leave stuff in the comments stuff that you like to ask stuff that you've heard in interviews uh, and remember that this this chunk of the interview really like if this is longer than than five minutes I don't know I would say three minutes maybe um, it's probably a waste of time unless you have a unless it's really important for some reason um yeah so i hope that's helpful on to the next subject see you in the next one peace why do i keep doing the finger guns god it's so lame jesus christ